Okay, in today's episode, we're going to go over the uh, guidance positioning system uh, or GPS mod. And uh, so the first thing you're going to need to do is install it in your tractor. So if we go to the shop here, uh, you're going to hit customize or if you're buying a tractor, you'll, you'll have to do this when you're uh, yeah, during the purchase. So we hit here. Now I've already done it, but see where it says global positioning system? That has to be yes, and that's gonna cost you, see if I go no, um, it takes it off there, and if you go yes, I've already paid for it. It's gonna be $15,000, uh, that's what it costs. So I think it's worth it. So, uh, so now that it's installed, uh, we'll head out. Now I've got uh, field 10, I've got a contract job set up out there. So let's go in here. So we'll head to field 10 and uh, get it set up. We'll go over operations. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, here we are at field uh, 10. We're getting ready to do some cultivating and uh, we're gonna use our, uh, our GPS mod on this job okay first thing I want you to notice uh, in the right uh, side of the screen above your uh, speedometer you'll see uh, three little icons the top one is telling you what row you're on the second one is telling you that your GPS is activated and the third one is telling you if it's engaged or not and what and your heading. So to uh, to to turn it on, we want to go uh, left your left hand alt and C and then it turns green. And then we're going to go control S and that gives us this menu here. So the first thing we're going to want to do uh, let's see here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to enable guidance steering. We want to show lines. At least in this up in this demonstration, we're going to show the lines. Uh, this 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 one right here, snap terrain angle. Uh, sometimes, so this terrain angle looks like it's going at a forty-five degree, so it's going to shoot us off at a forty-five. Uh, it may not be the case, but sometimes it happens. So we're, we're not going to use that in this demonstration. Uh, the offset, we have off because uh, we're just, uh, we just have a, a disc on the back. Uh, headlands mode, we're going to turn that to stop. So basically what it's going to do, it's going to stop us uh, nine meters. Uh, before the end of the row so we come here and then uh, this is this will tell us of the width of our uh, our implement in the back and so we'll go auto we'll hit this auto width and it tells us it's going to show us that our implements almost 20 feet wide and here the here's our offset we're not going to be using that but in, if you did it would offset it i don't know what what you would uh, i guess a mower or something like that so now that we got that set up we are going to go to here this is gonna we're going to set up our, our our path so we're going to go we're just going to do a straight a b a b straight we're just going to click on this one here a b straight so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set our a uh, a, our point A. Click on that. Then we'll escape out of here. Now we will turn this on. And then we're going to drive forward for a little ways until we start. Oops. Let me uh, might as well do some work here while we're doing it. So we'll drop that down. And then we'll just drive forward as straight as we can. See, you'll see that little A there. 
And see, now we, now we see the lines. See that line right there? That means we've gone far enough. So then we'll hit Control S again. Now we'll set, set our B point. And then we'll escape. Now we have these ones right here. So the, uh, the orange lines are the outside of our implement. And, this, and uh, the line in the center is the center of our tractor. So to engage this, you're going to get Alt S, or uh, excuse me, Alt X. And it turns green. So now, if you uh, hold down that, hold down your throttle, it's going to hold you on that line till we get to the end. So let's go all the way to the end and I'll show you what happens. Now you'll notice uh, on the on the right side of our screen that now the uh, that center icon is green and the steering wheel is green that means that it's engaged and that the GPS is on you look above there on the very top we're on the we're on row zero so we'll keep going here Now, I'm not doing anything. It's doing all the steering. I just got the throttle down. We'll hear, we'll hear that little alarm there, and then it stops. See, I can't. I'm, I'm trying to go forward, and it won't let me. So then what I do, I don't know. I just hit the, I hit the steering wheel a little to the left, and that turns it white. Then I just push forward here. And then I'll lift that up, lift the implement up, I'll get up a little higher. So now, see how it shifted there? Oh, so maybe I'll do it. We'll keep going around here. That's okay, it'll shift. I want to get back on that next track. There we go. Now uh, I'll hit Control, or I'm sorry, Alt X again. That turns it on. I'm going to lower my implement and I'm just I'm just doing the throttle and it's going to take me right down that same line. So you can also uh, just set your cruise control and then uh, so basically all you're doing is setting it up. I mean, you just got to get it close and, and the GPS does does a lot of the work. And and look at this. I mean, we're right on. We're not we're not wasting any time or anything. This is it's really slick. So okay, that's what that's what this episode was about. This is basically what I wanted to show you was this uh, this GPS mod. And so, well, I hope you found this helpful. Um, and uh, hope you're staying safe. If you found this helpful, hit that like button. And and. Uh, that would really help out and i hope you're having a good day and i will talk to you later all right see you on the next episode mm -hmm.